you guys are not paying me enough to stand up. You guys are seriously not paying me enough, whether in views or whatever, to stand up. So I'm going to do these videos sitting down. But I, I want you all to capture my face when I say what I'm about to say next. And that I am too busy to worry about the BW. I am too busy to worry about what she does, uh, who she swirls with, who she ratches it up with, who she has an attitude with, who she ruins the community with. And you know what? I'm too worried about that. And you should be too. You know why? Because if nothing else, it's better for your health. You guys are telling me that you are this concerned over what the opposition does. You are this concerned about uh, what they are currently doing to the boys. You are all this concerned about Oh man, they're ruining the, um, uh, trust me, they aren't ruining the reputation of us, trust me. I mean, it, it, granted, they may be doing that, particularly the single mothers with the kids they raise and the baby's kids and all that kind of stuff, and, and I got videos about that as well. But nonetheless, are you all telling me that you all have such a vested interest of going after and picking the Hornet's sex and picking the Hornet's sex to the point in which, oh man, they're coming after me, they're attacking me, oh, defend me. And once we defend you, what do you do? You go back to the same old tactics. Some of you guys have been complaining about women this and women that for years and decades on end. And guess what? It still hasn't gotten you anywhere other than the cloud chasing that you do. Okay, all right, fine. If you are doing this for the money, just say that and make it blatantly clear. Do not dance around the subject. Do not filibuster around the subject. Just make it clear. And I will not say anything about anything again regarding your hustle. You know, as they say in the community side, oh, you got to respect the hustle. You got to respect. Okay, cool. I respect the hustle. I don't want crap to do with it, but I respect it. And you know why? At least these guys are being honest. I like some other individuals who will read off the playbook, the same playbook that their opposition reads off of. Anyone, you notice that? Any of you notice that? So, for instance, one example. A lot of pro-wax when they attack BMs who are dating outside the race, one of the playbook strategies they use is the playbook of legacy. All right, it's our legacy. You're ruining our legacy if you're happy with a Becky. But they don't do it on the other side of the fence. I mean, you see that, you see that. But nonetheless, let's look at some of these guys who focus their time on women constantly. What do they use as an excuse in order to go on the offensive when it comes to women? Well, I'm talking legacy, and you're ruining our legacy, and I'm protecting the legacy, guys. And, you know, um, you know, you, you guys who are twerking on uh, Pookie and Ray Ray and, Bob, and uh, Brad and Chad and even Barbershop, right? You, you guys, girls, stop twerking on them. Twerk on me. Twerk on me because we need to preserve our legacy. It, look, uh, just say it like that. Just say it like that. You want to be chosen. You want to be the guy that they do all the ratchet um, stuff with. You want to have it handed to you for free. I get it. Pookie gets it for free. Brad and Chad get it for free. Even Bombshell Brad get it for free. I get it. And you know what? Okay. It's not really free. It comes with a price, as we all see. But I mean, a lot of you still act as if they're getting it for free. They're getting something for free. But you guys are the same guys who say, well, these women bring nothing but trouble. And I'm just going to sit here or I'm just going to uh, go outside the community, tie, which I support. I'm one of the biggest supporters of you leaving the community tie and having your presence felt through your absence. That is basically one of the tenets of this channel, which all of you apparently don't realize. But nonetheless, I'm going to drill it through your heads. Why do you care about what? The ABW thinks about you, what she does, what she says, what she thinks. And no, this is not an attack on the ABW. As a matter of fact, my channel has not been based on attacking ABWs, despite how some other people want to paint it as. My channel is basically, as I said, making your presence known through your absence and going where you're celebrated instead of tolerated. I mean, do you guys not get it yet? I've been trying to tell you this time and time and time again. Maybe I need to spell out for you. How about this? Look, right now, I am too, even if I had a grinder axe when it came to BW's the sisters, I have too much stuff to do, productive stuff to do, in order to care. Really, I do. I, I, I just don't have the time to do so. 
Some of you guys who are complaining are the same ones who always find yourself with an ample amount of time on your hands to the point where it's like, oh, you got time to do eight hour panel handouts either during work hours or during play hours. And by play hours, but nonetheless, I'm looking at you guys and I'm saying to myself, no wonder why this guy has a gripe when it comes to the AVW. No wonder why they have such a vendetta to the point where you are just obsessed with just either making her look bad or praising other women, which, ooh, we got to cook the guys who praise other women. Oh, I cannot stand you guys. Not personally, but just on a surface level, I, I just can't. No. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. That's where I am when it comes to you guys who praise foreign women, women overseas, same thing, uh, women outside the race. And trust me, one of the things that I've done, or at least I tried to do, is to warn you guys that, look, don't go red pill for Keisha and blue pill for Becky. Ed Anderson was the first to say it, to be fair, but I'm the one who popularized it, all right? So I want my due. I want my credit, all right? But nonetheless, you guys who are putting women of other races and cultures overseas, you don't do that. Even if they are better on a strategic platform, you don't do that for one reason. You are showing your hand. And in the game of, I hate to use the game analogy, oh, you're a pro game now. You're a pro game. Oh, you're a pro game. Oh, the muscles, you're a pro game, aren't you? Well, go there with the game guys, PUA guys. And hang out with them. In the game of cards, what is one of the rules that everyone follows to never expose their hands, right? By you praising other women, regardless if it's above your own, I don't care about that, but just praising women in general. And that goes for the pro acts, that goes for the community guys, that goes for the I only want to assist the guys, it goes for you too. Oh, and it goes for you um, white manosphere guys over there, over there, just like the black manosphere guys over there, over there. To keep it to yours, yeah, yeah, keep apart, and I'll be the guy who keeps you all apart. But I'm gonna tell both of you sides this you need to stop showing your hands when it comes to pedestalizing whether the sister and the, and the manosphere, the, the fine sister who wouldn't talk to you in middle and high school, and now you're trying to either get revenge or, uh, or the light skinned chick who uh, she shows you a wink, and you all, all of a sudden just throw away all your little tenants that you barely lived by to begin with, or in the white manosphere where, oh, you, oh I'll make Karen great again, you gotta make Karen great again, or oh, we gotta go for the uh, the WM's cheat code and the AW. Oh, yeah, we, we know, oh, we, we know what that's a, oh, 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 don't get me start. Do not get me started with a cheat code. Oh, man, it's, let me shut up. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna put my Santa Fe hat on in this video. You gotta pay for that one. But nonetheless, look, what was I? Oh yeah, to the guys who worry about the BW, get a hobby, get a job, some of you get a job, seriously, because a lot of you guys, I'm am very concerned, not concerned really, but I'm really questioning if a lot of you guys do have jobs, particularly lucrative jobs or jobs you care about, because if you did, would you be running your mouth, and even with a, even with a hidden screen, right, would you be running your mouth like this, would you be going off like this? Would you be really just um, just saying all this other reckless stuff like this? And I'm not saying a lot of you guys are saying the most reckless stuff, but a lot of you are doing the goof troop stuff of just saying, man, I don't women, man. We like it when we're better, man. And you know, we hate when we're better, man. Man, I, I bet the white and the Asian women who I can't get with are better, man. Man, you sister, man. Look, man. Like, I'm going to make eight hour hang out. Look, eight, eight hours, right? I'm going to invite all my boys. and I'm, I'm going to invite some guys who, uh, they say they're balling, but they married single mothers from overseas. And we're going to talk about the women, man. The women, man. No, no, no. Don't get, do not get me started. I will cook. I will cook. And I'm not even cooking on behalf of the sisterhood. This is not for the sisterhood. This is not for the community. You all know what I think about the community in the sisterhood. I am as neutral as it gets. They they want to do what they want to do. And if they feel as if they're going to go through all this trouble of getting all these degrees and jobs just so they won't have to get with uh, 
non-stereotypical BM. I'm not going to call me EL, but I, I think that's what a good amount of this is for. They're doing this so you won't have to need a man, particularly a man that you aren't attracted to. Because when these sisters are in college, oh, they're, they're with men. They're, they're with men. Most of whom aren't in college, but oh, 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 don't touch that rail. Don't touch that rail. Hell, don't touch that dial. Because that's what this is about. We get it. The sisterhood has gone through so much. Basically to say, if you don't got the hood swag, we don't want your ass. We don't want anything you provide. We don't any. We don't want. We don't definitely don't want to be a companion to you. We don't want to submit. Forget that. We don't even, even cooperate. At least they'll fake cooperate with Pookies and Ray Rays until they, uh, at least within the bedroom, until they get what they want. And then if he becomes an old meal, it, it, they old yell at his ass, aka child support, aka put him on the streets, aka. And look. This has been said time and time again. They do not want you. Okay, fine. Or if they are the slim ones who aren't, you know, aren't scraggle daggles, they're going to go for Brat and Chat. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. And if they're doing so much ratchetness and they're screwing up their reputation so much, then let them do it themselves. They have made that decision. And don't let other guys on the races say, well, you know what? Your culture is reflected by your women. and your... Look, they know what the time it is. They know how the dynamics work in this country. In regards of that, I'm not going to go into that. But there are plenty of channels you can go to in order to hear them out. But, yeah, the American communita people have a particular gender dynamic. That isn't reflected even within non communita people of African descent. And it is not reflected among non community colors. I'll just say that. So what are you going to do about it? Huh? You're going to continue to whine about it? Continue to bitch about it? Complain about it? Or are you going to make your presence felt by your absence? Are you going to get skills and hobbies to the point which you're too busy to care? Are you going to move to a place where they do not determine your bound, chicka, wow, wow, snoo, snoo life? Are you going to invest in yourself, whether it's physically or financially, to the point which you won't have to worry about them? Or even for you guys who are tricky, that you can buy your way into freedom, and whether it's temporarily through tricking or on a more permanent basis through uh, real estate, through investments, hell, even through a car. I mean, r right around in the freaking, well, I guess, I, I guess I, that's like 20th century, but nonetheless... You guys out there, just stop it. Get some help. I'm done with this video, man. I'm done.